Hello and welcome to Snetterton's Farm. Uh, you catch us here. Um, it's the second part of our first kind of game day of winter. And um, we're going to do a little bit of ploughing and getting some fields kind of prepped before the snow and the ice and everything else comes. Um, so get some things in and done. So here we are. We're at a tractor near field two. And we need to get this one ploughed. This was a field that I vaguely remember um, had sugar beet on it. Uh, we've run a fertiliser run over it already. And we're going to have to do that again after we've done this to actually get this fertilised ready to seed. So I've got a course play course already loaded from last time we did this field. And um, I'm just going to start this off and let this go. Now... What we have here is, and we're just going to kind of, um, it's a very small field, it's not going to take long to do. Uh, we've also got um, the field next door, which is field three. That's been um, cultivated, ready to go. And I need to essentially do the same. Um, I need to put some seed, I have to do a fertilizer run here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load up the field. Uh, I'm going to we're going to start in the southeast, and we are going to basically run west. I'm just going to generate, and I'm just going to start this off. I'm actually going to hold on a second, move the tractor. Tractors are actually, I, I have a feeling I might need to put a weight on this tractor because this tractor has been sliding around as I've been driving it around earlier. So I think I'm just going to pop that there. It's first waypoint and drive course. I'm going to get out and let that get on with it. I'm just going to open this fence here. Uh, he's going, and essentially what we're doing is just fertilizing this field. And it's going to be essentially done, ready um, for us later on. We do have, uh, I've mean, set up down here, um, we've got a, a tractor ready for manure, and then we're going to plough this field as well. So this is a nice big one. We're going to set that going as well. So I need to find my Land Rover. Who can drive down there? I'm jumping over the hedges. Um, where did I put my Land Rover? I put it here. Okay, let's just grab the Land Rover and um, head over there. I want to get these fields started. Um, kind of want to get everything done before I say before thing. Oops, we've had a lorry turnover in the safe. Um, fortunate, I have to fix that. Actually, I'll fix that now. Um, not sure why this does this. It's something to do with the. Um, hook loader uh, kind of annoying Hopefully. There we go. It's a weird thing that happens sometimes. Um, just kind of... I think it's a little bug really with the... Um, with the hook loaders. Um, the uh, trailers don't always sit quite right on it, so we're going to take this down back way. To the field. And um, this all sorted.
quite a nice to drive this. This is the one bit of actually the kind of miss having the steering wheel and throttle for because this was the one bit of road that basically I tended to use it on. <laughs> and then I haven't, I've kind of moved away. Um, I might get it out again. Um, so, yes, we will um, move ourselves to field 28. Won't we? up there. So we've got essentially what I've got on there is I've got the manure spreader. That's uh, Massey Ferguson has finished already. I've got a manure spreader and I've got a plow uh, down here already. I've just got them brought down here. And uh, we will start off the manure spreader and, and then we'll kind of Hopefully, let that finish, and then we'll sort of plough it following that. Okay, so, I do actually need to check something, because I can't remember how much money we've got in the storage now. I think we won't have enough to that with. Okay, so... We have the spread selected. Go to our, our field size. We want field 28. So, attempt to do that. Too far. We are in the northeast corner. And we are heading west. And let's generate the course. Look, that looks fine. And we can pretty much just start that off at uh, the first waypoint and let it go. And that should basically go forth and fertilise. Um, let's pull this out of this spot here. Get him ready. We can get this one only. Not straight away, I want to get that um, just a bit further ahead. So, you know, it's going to run through this. That's kind of pegged about, I think, I'd say about 12 miles an hour. And so let's get this guy up. So, field work, we're on again, field 28. I don't think we actually have any saved routes for this one, so we will save this one. And we are starting again, so, sorry, we are starting north east corner, and we are heading west. And generate. Let's take a quick look at that. See, we've got our route there, all nicely done. Um, let's save this one. So this is field 28, we're ploughing. With that headland. Now, what we're going to do here is we're just going to knock the field speed down to I think 10 miles an hour. And the reason for that is to I am actually going to break my rule and just jump over here because I want to see what the speed is whilst it's on the field. Um, he's doing 14 I think. His turn speed is 6 but 
I think he's doing 14. I'll let him get going forward. Um, I can't remember what the actual width is. I think it's 8. Okay, it's 12 miles an hour, so we do need to be going slower. So I'm setting his field speed at 10. Uh, that'll basically mean he is going to be slower. But I'm going to let this guy um, get to this end before I start him off. So that we basically have two lanes effectively of um, gap. Um, we could jump to these guys. Again, I don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, we'll just go up there with the uh, line driver once we finish these off. Always basically using four wheel drive. Um, this character. Um, I'm going to make sure this guy's running four wheel drive as well. So here. He will basically go, he will turn around. He's good. Landy. Up. Up. So. Starts again at first waypoint. And, um, yeah. So one of the things I've been kind of thinking of, and I'll be doing this on the Cherry Hills um, map, um, our next harvest episode, is multiple combines, multiple uh, machines. Um, don't really need them on this map because the fields are not massively small and, and there's no kind of gain for using um, multiple pieces of equipment on one field. Um, as we tend to just leave them to it and let it get on with it. Um, but course play, I've kind of been playing around with this idea of using course play in multiple pieces of equipment. So he should move forward now, get ready to start. Just jump into Land Rover and get ready to head back. Watch that just kick off. He's literally go Let's head back to the farmyard. So we've got a couple of vehicles up there now. Need um, looking after. So just head up there and um, yeah, make sure they're all good. Kind of got um, most of the farmyard, the farm fields, uh, into a state of a ready to seed, paired, um, and kind of plowed, fertilised, all that stuff. Um, all we are sort of needing to do is, you know, ride out winter. We have, I think, enough food in the bank for the animals, so we should be good. Once winter's over, um, which I'm kind of wanting to get uh, from sort of episode 19 now, this will be. I think I might. Um, episode 20 will be probably the next midwinter or whatever the next um, phase of winter is. 
and then we'll um, finish up with episode 21 at the end of winter. Um, at that point we'll probably take a, um, let's, we're going to mod the map break, so I will be doing some changes to the map, getting it, um, adding some production stuff, we we'll try and get that done at some point soon, won't, I don't think it will be in the next week. Um, but we'll, we'll, we will certainly get that. A few bits of new production um, copied over from Cherry Hills. Um, finished out this game year essentially. And then we'll have some more fun stuff. Uh, I'll pop this back. The thing I'm going to do um, is, I think, be a no. I'm going to be running, so um, Pine Cove, the new Pine Cove, but I don't think I'm going to run it with Seasons. Or am I? I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. I haven't quite decided if it's with Seasons or Actually, did I? Oh, I put that away too early. I put um, put the fertilizer spreader away too early. Oh well, that's fine. We can leave that one. Um, we'll, we'll we'll fertilize it later. Put something. It's one down the line. Let's check. Time before next maintenance window. Can I cover him? We won't be needing him for a while. So, we have um, machinery running, um, I will be keeping it up, I've got the one driver. Um, okay, so, let's just check out the map. We've got these two guys running on this field, they're going to be there for a little while, that's fine. Um, we have a little job to do, over near the pigs. We actually have a little job to do here as well. So, my last episode, I kind of commented on the fact that it's pretty dark on this lot here. So, what I'm going to do, I've actually added um, a mod. Um, and we're going to add some floodlights. So, I'm going to drop, um, let's see, something around here. I get it close to the fence and another one here nice big floodlights should there's a bit more light on here when we uh, come to use this lot at night um, so what I'm going to do we're going to head down to the pigs now. Um, I kind of moved the stuff we parked there yesterday in the last episode out of the way. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the shed. Um, uh, what we um, done is I've added a couple of sheds to mods on the farm and we're going to use those so we've got this one I like this one but it's it's not really right for this space um, this one I noticed is actually I kind of like the look of it it's quite a nice 
um, the big vehicle check, but it's not going to really work so well for you. This one is the one that I'm going to put down. Now, there's a, there is literally a spot here where you, it's the only spot this will work. Um, it's, turn it around. This actually has lights as well. And it's actually a little bit. So we could put it tighter down here. It kind of blocks the potato um, mixer there. Um, if we move it up, it gives us a bit more space. There. Drop that down. Now, what I was also going to do is drop a light behind it. So, just because it's kind of now blocked off, drop that light. Should give us a bit more light and some storage space here. Kind of looks pretty good, doesn't it? So, I'm going to take this guy. Part what's up here earlier. It's just annoying. Sometimes I have to off. And I'm actually going to put two. Nice little spot this. This is a let's go over here. We've used this um, shed before on Cherry Hills for instance. It's a nice little shed. Um, it's got lighting, uh, so you can see the lights there. You've got the light switches here. Let me run around. Oh, no, light switch on. Yeah, they're actually off now. See? Oh. Cool. Guess there's a bit of light up here. Going to the, the Land Rover. And drive off. And um, yeah, we've got. That kind of space done. So we've got the pig food mixers already, and uh, we've got pig food there made. TMR mix is probably working still from last time. Um, but uh, it's just been done. Replaced a building. Ooh. Not again. Right, I, I've had that happen when I've been recording roots with it. Land Rover and it's just some rock there you just catch off the wheel and it just spins you around. So it's, it's mighty frustrating. So do you want to check something? Right, I'm gonna pick up this wall because we are actually I think full. Back up. Truck. The bubble. We are kind of storing it up at the moment. For a uh, well. Come on, next. production project we do. There's all the wool nicely and neatly stacked up. Okay. That. 
but um So, one of the things we can do is I think what might, we might do. I don't know if we, how much liquid fertilizer we have actually. Um, I don't know how much this takes. I don't know if it will tell us. Um, Liquid fertilizer, 11,000, 10,000. We've got two seed masters here. Um, thinking we could get some seed um, boost. No, I don't think we can bother. Okay. So, let's just have a quick look at our seasons, what we can do. We have, um, obviously we're running seasons. We can pretty much only harvest um, popular and all seed radish at this time of year. Um, we can't do any planting at all. It is just not warm enough. And we are pretty much sat, uh, essentially stuck with a case of getting stuff prepped, ready and uh for the new year to come we can pretty much start sowing day one now of the new essentially year in spring um everything except sunflowers and soybeans and i'm going to try plant those a little bit later um, hopefully soybeans and corn will germinate this next time out um, it's really important. This temperature element is is key. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to um, keep an eye out for that. Right. So we've got our equipment here. It's working away. It's, it's good. Every field that we have is prepped, ready to go. Um, got quite a few fields, as you can see. Um, our pigs are good, our cows are good, our sheep are good. Um, we really just need to figure out um, some bits and pieces for things to do in the winter. So we're going to be doing some logging in the next episode. Um, if it snows, we might get some... I don't know what we'll do when it snows, actually. Um, really don't know. Um, one of those things. I have no idea what we can do when it's snowing. Um, we will... I think have some rain at some point in this game, day. That will basically... Help. Not going to affect much because it's rain and we are potentially um, kind of a point of nothing really much more we can do. Um, animal care is going to be important over the winter period. We're just going to need to make sure everything's fed and um, enough food. We don't want to be losing any animals in the cold. Um, I am worried a little bit about sheep and what I can feed them. I have a sneaky feeling I might have to use hay. I don't have any. Um, so we might have to buy some hay in. Um, and if that's the case, I will probably do that in the next episode. Looks like it's going to start to rain soon. It's going to be misty and dark. 
we are going to head to the PGA because I just want to check out my PGA at the moment. Um, we might do in the next episode, so we might do some logging. That logging camp there is the one I think I'm going to activate because the other one is all. Uh, it's got stuff in there. Ready to go. Just running. And it's kind of just waiting really for us to actually let you take, take that logging camp on. So. Here we are. We are back to the BGA. Um, <coughs> you like that? I just wanted to check what our fermentation state was. It is actually 100%. So we can get stuff ready. So, I think we will end our episode here in the BGA. We might end up doing a bit of BGA work as well in the next episode. Um, but I think, for the moment, sort of close out in could only be described as a really worsening weather day. So, this was Snetterton's farm, and we have sort of kind of just finishing up really what we're going to do on our first game day of winter and um, we've done a bit of plowing and fertilization of things getting ourselves ready to plant next time out and uh, with that we shall leave uh, if you've enjoyed today's episode please hit the like button and if you want to see more of this series or our Cherry Hill series or map reviews or everything else we do, please subscribe to the channel. And with that, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you guys next time.